Hi, everybody. Um, just before coffee break, I promise I will be on time. Um, so uh, lots of uh, interesting talks so far at the conference. I've attended uh, several myself. Uh, the whole AI machine learning uh, has gone pretty much over my head, but I think the take-home message that I've been getting from this is that the robots will soon be taking over in the next uh, five to 10 years. Uh, so let's hurry up and, uh, and get the research done. So um, my, um, my role in uh, GenScript is to actually help uh, you um, uh, in your projects. And, uh, and if you do have protein-related uh, uh, requirements in your projects, uh, I have a couple of decades of experience, as well as the people on, 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 on our team in the Protein Services Division, and we're really more than happy to help you. So let me just uh, show you how uh, we can help you, and uh, I'll get through this. There we go. So um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about GenScript, uh, how to, uh, also how um, we can help you overcome your challenges in antibody production. Uh, and also a little bit about glycosylation. Not much uh, discussion about that. I think it's because it's pretty much a black box uh, for everybody these days. I spent my whole PhD working with glycoprotein, so I have a little bit of knowledge about that. Deep experience uh, with bispecific antibodies, so how we can help you with, with uh, you know, multi-specific antibodies and proteins. And then uh, some features of our protein expression uh, platform. So about GenScript. And if I can, there we go. So we've been around for uh, a little over 20 years now. Uh, just just some, some, some small highlights. Uh, we were founded uh, pretty uh, humble beginnings in 2002 out of a very small lab. Uh, we've grown to a very large multinational company. Uh, and in 2004 was when we actually started uh, developing expertise in protein work. So we've been doing this for quite a long time. Um, in 2007, we formed a collaboration with Janssen Legend Biotech, which is a CAR-T therapy uh, organization for cancer um, therapy. And then finally, uh, most recently, uh, we've, we've um, put together uh, a, a, an R&D production facility in Singapore to augment our capacity uh, and also uh, increased uh, cell engineering uh, and virus production in Shanghai and we're in the process of opening a, a US facility as well. So we're really broadening to be able to help you uh, do your research and, uh, and achieve your goals uh, faster and better. So um, the, 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 we're a full service uh, offering organization. Um, you guys mostly know us probably about gene synthesis. Everyone gets their gene synthesi synthesized with GenScript. I'm sure you're all very happy with that service. Um, but uh, uh, well, at least I hope you are. Um, we also do peptide synthesis, uh, antibody development, uh, a, a, as well as uh, oligonucleotide synthesis. And we have mRNA uh, synthesis as well. That's a brand new uh, facility that we have in, in Western uh, US. So, so if you are working with mRNA, uh, definitely look us up. Um, and what I'm going to talk to you about is protein production. So um, it's not working. There we go. Okay. So what are the problems, the challenges that we're faced with when we, uh, when we uh, are trying to do a protein production, antibody production project? Uh, it's the usual uh, suspects. Uh, money is always an issue for everybody. Um, and uh, also the quality of your final antibody or protein, uh, protein um, reagents, the yield uh, capacity, and obviously deadlines are always looming and, and that puts pressure on everybody. And we can definitely help you. We have a brand new uh, solution. Uh, this solution uh, is called our TurboCho uh, recombinant expression platform. This uh, permits the, um, the very fast uh, production uh, of high quality, high yield antibodies. And, um, and these uh, services, uh, this service encompasses three essential service platforms. One is CHOHT. Uh, Cho Express and then Cho HP. They're all kind of combined to help you through your entire workflow. And at the end of that workflow, so 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 most of this is for early 
uh, preclinical uh, research. And then when you get into your clinical trials and your commercialization, we have another division called ProBio, which, can, which, which is, uh, produces GMP-grade uh, protein and antibodies. So we can take you from the very beginning all the way to the very end of the process in one stop shop. And we use the, the, the same, if you're working with antibodies, the same Cho K1 uh, cell line to do all of this. So everything's encompassed in the same sort of process. Our HT platform is the one that I think is really interesting for a lot of you, which is a high throughput platform permitting you to express uh, a large number of antibodies or proteins. And, and as I said, with this whole AI machine learning uh, evolution and revolution, uh, it seems like, all we, like, like we're constantly needing to do more uh, and make more to test uh, in the lab. And uh, this HT platform is awesome for this. So it permits you to, to, to provide us with sequences of hundreds of, uh, of antibodies. And we can produce uh, small quantities. So, so milligram, still mil low milligram quantities, so still a decent amount to do early testing, uh, but in a very short period of time, two to three weeks. So, so a very attractive uh, offering. A lot of people use this. And then that, that evolves to Cho Express, which is, our again, a transient exp expression platform to uh, increase uh, the yield once you've selected the targets that you're interested in. Obviously, there's a process of, 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 of evolving in the lab and, and moving things forward down the pipeline. So we can, we can work with you to do this. And this uh, Cho, tra transient expression Cho ex Express platform, again, is very short time frame, three to four weeks, but uh, up to gram quantities of, of, uh, of protein, which is really important for in vivo studies. I, I see a lot of people needing a lot of protein when they get into mice and, and, and primates. And then finally, uh, the Cho HP and stable is really when you're getting into preclinical stuff. Uh, so that would be for making stable cell lines or stable cell pools to produce a lot of antibody or protein, again, for preclinical. And then, as I mentioned to you, once you get into clinical, we can move you over to our ProBio uh, division to make GMP grade. So glycosylation is something uh, that a lot of people don't think of, but, but there is an asparagine that's quite conserved in the FC region of most antibodies, asparagine 297. It is, it is, uh, it is glycosylated. I spent my whole PhD, as I mentioned, looking at N-linked glycoproteins and the way glycosylation affects protein folding. And um, there, uh, these, glyco these glycans are typically heavily modified. And there is a, um, a fucose uh, residue uh, right here linked to the, uh, to the uh, N-acetylglucosamine that's linked to the asparagine, actually. So it's right here. And that fucose residue has been shown to actually have um, uh, an impact on um, antibody-dependent cell-mediated uh, cytotoxicity. So if, if this is there that is reduced. And if it's not there, it's increased. And there's a lot of papers that are actually supporting this. Uh, and there's actually some, some, some uh, uh, drugs that have, been, uh, that have been synthesized with antibodies that have had this removed to, to enable increased, uh, increased ADCC. So uh, GenScript uh, worked very hard uh, to, to produce what we call our FUCO-free TurboCho system. So, so again, this is, this, is a, this is a cell line uh, that we have in a, uh, that permits the expression of uh, FUCO-free um, uh, antibodies. So still you have the glycan because that glycan is really important for recognition and also for other aspects of, of, uh, of, the, um, of the interaction between the, the antigenic regions of, of the various targets. But, with, but with, just without the fucose, which, which increases AD, ADCC. And as you can see here, uh, with the control uh, at 94% fucosylation versus the low fucose version, there's a dramatic increase in, in ADCC. And we've, we've confirmed the removal of the fucose with mass spec. So that's something that we wanted to, to check in and, and, and assure as well. And this is, this is becoming a more popular option for people that are, that are working with this. We do have deep experience with bispecific antibodies. I'm not going to go into the details of this slide. Really, uh, you, you've all been at this conference, and it seems like everyone has given a talk on bispecific antibodies, so you know how popular they are and how important they are now for, for uh, recruiting uh, immune system 
to cancer and also for payload delivery to to cancer cells. So so it's it, it's very obvious. I don't need to to get to delve into this in any more detail. Uh, for with our Turbo Cho platform, um, again. Bispecific antibodies is something that we that we are very familiar with and that we've been producing for quite a long time now, uh, as well as enzymes and recombinant proteins and, and other monoclonal antibodies. So these are these are just a, 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 a small you know picture of what we what we've done. Um, and then if we go to the bispecifics, this gives you an idea of the of the spectrum of bispecifics that we that we've already produced for for uh, for clients globally and, uh, and just to give you a, a confidence and an idea on the deep level of experience and understanding we have we spend a lot of time with our clients uh, those of you who have worked with us you know that we that we uh, it's kind of a consultative process when we work with you to 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 walk you through this process and make sure that that you understand what we're doing and that we understand what you're doing to be able to be successful. Our goal is 100% uh, to be successful with you. Um, so um, just on bispecific purification strategy, uh, as, you're, as, as the last speaker uh, mentioned, and as, uh, as I will definitely tell you, assembly is always an issue with bispecific antibodies because they're, they're funky typically. Uh, so purification becomes really important. If you want to have a nice purified product at the end, typically it requires multiple purification steps. It depends uh, on, on, the, uh, on the antibody and the stability and so on. Typically everything starts with a protein A purification, uh, but then we've, we've combined other purification steps. So a CH1 affinity purification, SEC, and other types of purification to be able to, to, to achieve very, very high purity of these bispecific antibodies, which is, which is really key when you're, when you're, when you're working with these, with these, uh, with these, uh, you know, potential drug candidates, uh, at the, especially at the early stage of development where you don't want to have any surprises at the end. Um, and of course, some, a couple of case studies, and I'm not going to go into details on this. I really just want to compare with bispecifics our, our uh, original Cho uh, cell line with Turbo Cho, just to show you that there's a dramatic increase in yield. So we, we're getting like about a fourfold increase in yield with this new Turbo Cho system, which uh, saves you both money and time uh, with this system. And we've also uh, we've also been working on. Um, on uh, fusion protein expression as well. So, so when we talk about fusion protein uh, expression, oops, a lot of a lot of labs are um, are now not just working with bispecific antibodies, but they're also working with uh, antibodies that contain a protein component as well. So, kind of a bispecific or chimeric protein antibody. And, uh, and these, these are, are becoming quite interesting for labs uh, for various reasons and various applications. And, uh, and again, we have lots of expertise in producing these kinds of antibodies uh, uh, recombinantly. As I mentioned, uh, for, for these funky types of proteins, there's uh, purification is typically uh, the, the, the key, the critical factor here, and we're very good at this. Uh, and, uh, and as you can see here, uh, again, with our with our uh, Turbo Cho system, if you compare the Cho S with the Turbo Cho, there's a dramatic increase in yield, anywhere from two to fourfold for these two different antibodies, and we see a consistent uh, uh, increase in, in yield with the Turbo Cho uh, platform. So, so we always strongly recommend using that if you're if you're making antibodies or or secreted proteins. Uh, it's it's a it's a great system, and and of course it's it's recognized. Cho is a is a commonly used uh, cell line for for making uh, antibodies, even at the commercial level. So just some features of GenScript's uh, platform, just to just to kind of finish off. Um, I, I've spoken to you a lot about Cho um, expression. But we do also have deep uh, knowledge and expertise with E. coli and insect cells. Uh, so if you're making antigen, antigenic uh, proteins or smaller proteins that, you, that you're trying to work with in the lab, we have deep experience and, and our E. coli platform is actually quite popular. And all three of these platforms have that HT high throughput uh, um, offering. So, you can, so we can make a large number of proteins at a smaller scale for you to assess and test first 
before the scale up process. Um, we, we've, we've recognized uh, uh, beyond any shadow of a doubt that, that, uh, that uh, you all need to work with a lot of proteins uh, and you're, you're all doing quite a lot of mutagenesis work uh, to be able to, uh, to find the right fit, the right key to fit in the right keyhole uh, per, per se. So, so uh, if you need help here, again, it'll probably be me or my colleague that will that'll, that'll be answering the phone. Again, we have a lot of experience discussing this with you and we can help you with your projects on that. Uh, codon optimization is another is another key factor. Uh, we have our own uh, GenSmart uh, codon optimization algorithm. This permits uh, 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 an increase uh, in in the actual expression of proteins. So so we often do the uh, the um, you know the gene synthesis along with the protein expression for you. It's kind of an all inclusive package. It doesn't have to be that way, but we recommend it because it uh, it helps augment expression and yield. And then finally, um, just the QC tests. Uh, this is really important for anyone uh, doing, doing protein expression work. We have all the, the gamut of tests, concentration, SDS page, Western blotting, endotoxin, HPLC, LCMS. Uh, we also do protein-protein interaction as well. And, uh, and of course, uh, in, in, vivo, uh, in vitro functional assays, freeze stability testing, et cetera. So if there's something extra that you need when you're trying to produce your proteins, especially as you're getting closer to commercialization or you're in those preclinical trials, uh, this, is, this might be something that might be interesting for you. And then my last slide is just on the Singapore site. We're very proud of this. This, this, is, uh, th th this site opened last year. It's, it's fully ramped up and, uh, and it has uh, dramatically augmented our ability to serve uh, our clients globally as the demand for protein uh, seems to have increased dramatically. So that concludes my talk. Um, if there is a need uh, for, 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 for this type of service, uh, by all means, just email protein at genscript.com. Uh, that email comes straight to me and my colleagues in our, in our group. And again, as I mentioned, it's an honor to be here. It's, it's an honor to watch the, the work that all of you are doing. It's uh, phenomenal, uh, the advances that are being made, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we're really happy to be a part of, uh, of your success. So, so please do feel free to reach out to us. Thank you. We're a little bit over time, but um, so if you have any questions, you can catch up Zhang at the coffee break.